Hi guys, pick this one up today in the charity shop. That's interesting. I bought it in, I think it was the PDSA, and I recognize that label as being uh, St. Peter's Hospice charity shop. So it's been in one charity shop and then been dropped off in another one. And that looks like, well, it could have been two ninety nine, nine ninety nine. We don't know. You won't be able to tell. Really doesn't matter. I paid £1.99 for it, which I think was too much, to be honest, depending on what we find when we open it. Because although it's a kit, it's already been made. You can actually tell it's been made by peeking in there. So it won't be for the fun of making it. Oh, before I open it, I did mention on the charity shop video that I've done similar kits. This one is a motorbike, which steers, interestingly enough. Um, that's spare cells I've got taped on the back there. because so I think I was running it on a either a solar um, cell or a battery. But it has got the um, saltwater batteries there. And this one, uh, that bit of metal there is so that I can have it on a tether going round in circles. Again, I've taken the saltwater battery off that and I, th I was probably running out on a supercapacitor. It wouldn't surprise me. I'd have to check the, um, the archive. But I do rather like this one. As you see, you've got the motor action on the front. That's the electric motor there that drives down through there. It's even four wheel drive, except this side, the uh, gear is missing. So that one doesn't actually get driven. I wonder if I took that gear off or whether it was missing from the beginning. No way of finding it nowadays, could be anywhere. Anyway, so got that one, got that one, and now we've got this one. So let's have a look. Oh, right. We have got a couple of plates there. We don't need the sprue. So that can go in the bin. Plastic bag empty, plastic bag empty. Stickers have been stuck on. Instructions. So that's our spare magnesium sheets. That's nice. Didn't expect to see them at all. The picture shows you what happens. Brand new, after a little bit of use, and then when it's been completely eaten away. Oh, I see it's tucked under here. So how do we lift that up? Well, it also talks about cleaning it by scraping it with the end of your screwdriver. Well, obviously we're not going to do the assembly. So that's already been done. So 
and we should be able to just pull it out. Should. Oh, yeah, there we go. Well, I've got to say, that looks like that might even work. The bottom layer will be carbon, and this will be magnesium. And then that's a, basically a bit of tissue, or like tissue, to hold the salt water in it. Well, I guess we ought to give it a try. Venus, it looks like it's possibly a worker. I might just clean them a little bit. All right, you can see I've given them a bit of a shine. So I'll pop that back on there. I might just scrape the bottoms of those contacts as well. I'll go and mix up some salt water and we'll see if it runs. Uh, what's going on there? That's a bit tight. Something is stopping that turning. We might have to take it apart and find out why that fan blade thing doesn't turn. Yeah, before we put salt water in there, we're going to have to do a bit of work there because turning the wheel should turn that fan blade in there, and that's jamming. We just take the wheels off. Yeah, that, oh, that's stiff. There's something stopping that turning. I think I can see the problem. See that bit of plastic sticking up there? That shouldn't be there, and as we turn the motor, or turn the wheel, that's jamming. I better just point at what I'm talking about, stay in focus. On top of there, that little bit of blue sticking up shouldn't be there. Might be able to get in there with a knife and trim it off where it is. I think we freed it up. Bit of lubricant. I also pushed that gear onto its shaft a little bit further because the gear that that one drives was jamming on the back of the blue fan. You probably can't even see the one that it drives. There's a white gear. Let's go close up. See if we can get an angle on it. If I turn it on the other side, you can just see that white gear turning. And because that gear wasn't far enough on the shaft, the white gear was actually jamming against the blue impeller, we'll call it. But now, as you can see, we are spinning freely. That is lovely now. As that turns, that fan turns very slowly. So we're not actually getting a blast of air from that fan. It's not giving us any benefit to driving the car. I could just connect a battery on there and see if the motor works. Oh, there we go. That is running. We'll just try it the other way round. Yeah, works both ways. Okay. That's really not very powerful, but it is a tiny motor. Okay, we'll um, mix up some salt water then. I'll put the wheels back on. Oh, I suppose I could put the wheels back on now. You can actually see it turning the wheels.
and the um, the fan is turning too. There's our salt water solution. Take a little while to soak in. And we've got one and a half volts almost. Let's put it back on there again. I should have put the top on first. Oh, it is going. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if that's enough to actually drive it. That's actually picking up speed a bit. That's just the salt is working its way in and making a good contact. Well, it seems to be picking up speed as the battery's getting soaked with the salt water. So let's give it a try. Because the next thing I could do is put it on the tether and let it go round and round in the conservatory there. Oh, that's my squeaky floorboard. Excellent. So we did both directions. Because there is a slight unevenness in the floor. It's not perfectly level. But we went both ways, so that accounts for that. We have a worker. Brilliant. We take off the time that I spent at the beginning messing around with it. It's probably been running for about 20 minutes because at the moment the camera says 25 minutes, but I did take a bit of time at the beginning to get it going. So there we go. I'll put a fast forward version on the main channel and I'll put this full length one on the other channel for people who want to see the full detail. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing, and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. 
thanks again.